to showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo, we've got some really great pieces in solid gold. We've got some stuff that has just come in that I want to keep you aware of and that I want you to be aware of. We're not going to go over any specific details about watches. We're not going to get bogged down into the movements and all the technical details today. We're not even really going to talk about stories in the backgrounds of the watches. I just want you to be focused on some of the really unique pieces that we continue to keep getting into our inventory that you should be aware of. Now, granted, Many of these watches are on the higher end of the scale. They are a lot more expensive than what you might be used to seeing, but they do represent a massive discount from the original price new. And the greatest thing about it is, is that each one of these comes with box and paperwork. And the only thing that's different with this particular model is this mid eighties nipple dial GMT, which just comes with the original Rolex box. That's pretty normal. For the watch of this age, losing the original warranty paper is, is fairly normal. One of the things that I do want to point out very first, the Rose Gold Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. This watch is an absolutely phenomenal design. It's a perpetual calendar. It does have the deep blue dial. It is, when, you, when the light hits it just right, the, the blue changes from a very deep navy to kind of a, a royal blue. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's very heavy. It does have the full original bracelet. And it also has the uh, case back, the crystal, sapphire crystal case back, where you can see this gorgeous AP movement inside. Of course, it's a royal oak, so uh, the details are exquisite. And this is just a watch that you can't find anywhere. This is watch number 129. Um, you would expect that you would find watches in the four, five, six, seven hundred range in terms of the uh, number of manufacturer. This is a low manufacturer piece. It's very hard to find. Even new, it's hard to find. So to be able to get that number down as low as 129, we have it with the box and the paperwork and the booklets as well. Now, moving on, one of my other favorite watches here is the IWC Yacht Club. This watch with the rhodium or slate gray dial and the black sub dials is absolutely a gorgeous piece. It's one of my favorite watches. I do love the detail of the bezel work here. And this one does have the sapphire crystal case back where you can see the internal movement of the watch. It is the original IWC in-house movement as well. This watch is almost uh, $25,000, $26,000 new. It is a very expensive watch, but this has an awesome discount. This watch you can obtain from us for $14,990. And again, it does come with the box and the booklets and the cards that originally came with the IWC. And this Yacht Club is just very, very hard to find in this condition. Remember that all of the watches that you're seeing here are virtually pristine. No dents, no dings, no scratches, no blemishes of any kind for the AP or the IWC. And the reason I sort of stopped with those two is because this watch, the GMT, shows a little bit of sign of wear. And you would expect that from a watch from the mid-1980s that's been worn. It has a few little scuffs and characteristics on the bezel. That's normal. And one of the things that I do want you to pay attention to when it comes to the Jubilee bracelet, it does have some flex. We call it moderate. I tend to call it more of a light flex. And the reason that I say that is because this watch had, in the original days, even in the Jubilee bracelet in gold, it had a little bit of flex to it. And we, over the years, wearing it, it's going to stretch a little bit more. But this watch has a lot of life in it. Don't be scared of this flex in this watch. And by the way, if you make it a little bit smaller for your wrist, you'll lose a little bit of that flex, but you'll be, which is good. It'll tighten up a little bit and you'll keep those links. Now, this is the hidden clasp version of the Jubilee bracelet from the mid 1980s. This is the nipple dial. It doesn't have the spotting or the cracking or the, the strange effects that a lot of the dials get over the years. This watch is in really great shape. And with a loop, you probably will notice the patina on the dial. There's a little bit on each one of the loom markers. And because it's the nipple dial, they come up into a sort of a conical pattern. It is a tritium based dial, so it won't glow anymore, but you don't want to change any of the effects of this. This is a transition dial. And um, this is something that's really hard to find. And especially with that Jubilee bracelet, it's just something you should have in your collection. You can wear it all the time. It's not in danger. The bracelet's not in danger of having any issues. It's, it's actually uh, quite nice. And by the way, just to be clear, the case and the bracelet, they don't have any major scratches or dings in them. They're not overly polished. Everything is just how it should be. Um, moving on to the Alanga Zone. The Alanga Zone 
is just one of my most favorite watches. It's the German Bauhaus design. It's very, very simplistic. This has got the moon phase, the date, and then the smaller uh, dial off to the left. I, I absolutely, this is one of my most favorite designs in the world. This is a manual line watch and you can display the case back um, to your friends and show them the intricate work and how great the Germans are at making that internal movement just absolutely sparkle and shine. Remember that Belonga Zone makes very few watches every year, less than 25,000, probably less than 20,000, and that includes all of the steel models, including, including the gold models. So you can imagine that this is something really, really special, but I do want to point out something about this dial. It does have a little patina that's starting to gain along the edges of the, the dial against the case, and the reason for that is because this is a hand-painted dial. And over time, anytime you get any sort of uh, wear, moisture, any, anything that's just normal, average, everyday wear, on a hand-painted dial, you can start seeing some characteristics that are going to pop up throughout the years. I would never suggest changing the dial, although you probably could. You could probably send this to a longer zone and have a brand new dial put on it. I personally wouldn't, because collectors always look for the originality of the watch. And no matter how many marks or uh, displays of character that the dial may have on it, it doesn't take away from the value, it actually adds to the value because it adds to the originality of the watch, gives it some characteristics and some history. And that's sort of the same thing that's going on with the GMT here with the Rolex. A lot of characteristics of this watch have just showed that it's had a history. And you really wanna keep that in mind when you're purchasing these watches. And you always wanna call us here at Swiss Watch Expo and we'll help describe all the details and show you the details that you need to know. The pictures that we do put online are incredible and they do show all of these character marks and history marks on these watches. Uh, on the ones that happen. Again, the IWC does not, and the Automark Brigade does not. These are two watches that you can get an incredible value for. One thing that I do have sitting here that's not actually a gold watch, which is a little bit out of the ordinary, but I just want to show you. This is the Cartier Tank MC, and the reason I brought it out in the stainless model is because I love the size of it, and the particular dial is the black dial. I like that better than the silver dial. I just think it looks more sporty. I think it looks more classy, and it's a more everyday wear. And the thing is, whenever I put this on my wrist, you can see I have a large wrist. So this watch actually looks quite nice on my wrist. And the instead of it being like the Tank Francais, where it would look very, very small and out of place on my wrist, this watch fills in my entire wrist and really lives up to that tank design. It is absolutely one of my favorite pieces. And because it's stainless steel, you do not have to pay that much in order to to have this watch, uh, but you do get pets, that, that unique style and the rarity of it. One thing that you should know is that we also have this amazing Patek Philippe travel time. This watch is in rose gold and it's an aqua. Where else were you going to find a watch like that in this condition? This watch, when I say pristine, I don't, I don't mean that lightly. This watch is absolutely in incredible condition. You can find it at a huge discount to the price new. You get all of the booklets, all of the paperwork of the box for it. So you don't have to worry about this watch going down in value over time because this watch is absolutely gorgeous. The precious metal watches tend to be more important over time. Patek Philippe has already announced that they find that the precious metal watches will be coming back into vogue and that the stainless steel watches are sort of going out. I tend to agree. If you're looking for a stainless steel piece, I just don't think you get the look, the style, and the design out of that watch that you do out of the gold. Remember, this is that golden bronze with a brown tinge to it on this dial against that rose gold. It is absolutely stunning. Don't be afraid of the rose gold. The rose gold looks incredible, especially if you have a little bit darker skin tone like I do. And I'm gonna put this watch on because I wanna be able to show you what this looks like against my little bit darker skin tone. Um, if you see that for an Aquanaut, that really fills in my wrist and it looks absolutely proper, which a lot of the Aquanauts are smaller and they don't look as well on my wrist as this. So the travel time, the colors and everything come together. It's classic. You can wear it absolutely every day. It's just something that we have here at Swiss Watch Expo that so many other retailers don't have. Keep in mind, we keep getting in these interesting pieces and we have a lot more from a lot of other brands over time. Uh, a lot of the uh, brands that 
you don't see from other retailers a lot of rare watches we're getting them in especially in the gold light gold rose gold yellow gold whatever you're looking for contact us here at swiss watch expo have a have um uh, have some contact with us ask questions uh click the bell register uh for alerts from us when we post new videos and one last thing that i want to talk about the blanc palm that's on my wrist the 50 fathom chronograph in gold one of my favorite watches i'm wearing that today it has the sapphire crystal bezel ring it actually glows in each one of the individual indices inside underneath that sapphire crystal glows we can tell you a little bit more about how that sapphire crystal is made it's really incredible it, it's, it's a very extensive and tough design to do. Bob Pond is one of the only ones in the world that can do it and do it the way that they um, have manufactured and patented, actually. So the Blanc Pond in solid gold, such an exquisite watch. I'd love to have it in my collection, too. I think it's just a classic timepiece. And if you don't have any Blanc Pond in your collection, definitely call us and talk to us about it because we have a few that are really amazing. Give us a call, Swiss Watch Expo. Find us at SwissWatchExpo.com. All of these watches are currently available. Uh, the Patek Philippe and the Audemars Piguet of the top level. And by the way, they all come to you completely inspected for authenticity. You can always have watches serviced by us when you buy them from us. We have an amazing atelier with a lot of great watchmakers here. Find us at SwissWatchExpo.com. Remember, sign up below, hit the bell. We want to make sure that we know who you are. Comment, leave us any questions that you may have, or just simply give us a call.